So very interesting case that we saw today. Uh, so I thought of uh, putting across some differential diagnosis of remedies for a very interesting case of a young man with oncology of tongue, tongue cancer. So this man, he at this moment had a in the tongue he had a kind of a deep ulcer, okay, which was very sensitive on touch, and he had got into a panic because he's a known case of tongue cancer. <clears throat> he's already taken many therapies, etc., and he's actually now in kind of remission, but he developed a new ulcer. Its slightest touch causes pain. And his main symptom is that he's gone into overboard with panic. And he's complaining. And he's screaming. And he's become very, very hyper. This ulcer, when it's very, very sensitive to touch, and the patient is besides oneself with pain. And goes into over panic. Typically is nitric acid. Nitric acid can be very, very anxious. We normally think about the idea of nitric acid as the idea of, you know, what we read in our uh, newer literatures about the hatred, the revenge. But one idea about nitric acid we normally don't think about is the extreme fear of cancer. Is the extreme anxiety hypochondriac. Very typical for nitric acid. Very interesting for that. So that's what we gave. Yeah. Yeah. In, in ascending potencies and then later on in LF potency. <clears throat> but there is a little bit of what I wanted to share with our colleagues was a little differential diagnosis. Because I feel someone there could, could really be helped with this. When this when this uh, tongue related pathology and there's a lot of neuralgia, think about the remedy, calicinatum. Calicinatum is a very important remedy for tongue cancer with neuralgia. Many of the tongue related pathology, there may be many ulcers and with that lot of bleeding okay. and we normally think about mercury salts but another very important remedy is the remedy Semperiverum Tectorum, very important for this bleeding with the tongue cancer. Yes, definitely there are all the Merck salts, there is Merck IF, Merck IR, Merck salt, Merck cord, so on. You know the typical indications for that. In chronic cases, when there is an induration of the tongue, <clears throat> think about the remedy, orum muriatica. It's a remedy belonging to psychotic miasm. It's a it's a psychotic miasm based orum med. So typically, you will see a state of orum. You will typically see a state of the high responsibility of orum, the pressure of orum, the high conscientiousness of orum, and also the theme of muriaticum, the disappointment, the hurt, the whole state of halogen. And with that, you will see this indurated tongue pathology. One very important remedy is with the history of tobacco is lobelia. Typically, lobelia inflata, more for the tongue. Tobacco chewers later on causing a tongue related a leukoplakia or tongue cancer. But especially if there is a stomach or, or gastrointestinal tumor, another lobelia remedy is lobelia erinus. It's the only remedy for especially the tumor in the peritoneum. You can read about this from Clark. There are many more remedies. There is apis with the kind of extreme burning pain. There is conium. We know the idea of conium <clears throat> with the umbelliferous family. Hydrast is another very important remedy. Uh, for uh, cancer and many many more remedies we can go on but I just wanted to give you a kind of a differential diagnosis one very important thing is the cadmium salts uh, these are very important for post chemo post radiation in any kind of tumors oncology but this would be very important so this is a little bit about differential diagnosis I was just sharing it with my colleagues today and I thought I'll share with you maybe someone there can really help in the suffering of some patient.